this is a great song for you to practice to because it's going to give you some great chords, some army chords, yet it's still going to give you some riffs to really work on. And it's just a loop, so if you want to practice to it, it'd be great to practice to. The name of this song is Playing Games um, by Summer Walker. So this song is in the key of D. Every time that I teach, I'm always associating everything with the major key, so I can use the same format, the same formula, and create consistency for myself whenever I play, so I don't have to guess or second guess. It doesn't matter if it starts on a minor chord, I want to find the major key that it's in. So today, this song is in the key of D major. So we're going to be playing a, a bunch of different chords, but it's really cool. So, so we're going to do our B minor, F sharp minor. So we got to do that, those kind of like boom and so we're doing that arpeggiation. So we do that F, so that F sharp minor. We're gonna go to that G major seven. We're gonna go to that E minor. Instead of just being staccato, it's almost like I'm playing down and let my fingers make the rest of those notes happen. I'm not playing with my pick. and everything is staying the same so it's a great progression because it's allowing you to play the chords do a, a couple riffs a couple hammer-ons a couple pull-offs all in the same progression which is to encourage you and forcing you to work so the way that you're playing exactly what's in the song so let me pause for a cause right here if you're a huge fan of R&B leave a comment I want to know what kind of songs do you like to play what kind of stuff do you like to practice to what is stuff that you listen to that's going to stretch you out I definitely want that feedback also if you like the stuff that I'm teaching, but you want to do an even deeper dive, I highly encourage you to go to my website, carriescamp.com, K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. And that stuff, like we're going to I have a whole slew of lessons and I have an online community that's really going to help you unlock your full potential. That's what I do. Let me be your mentor. Let me be the one that's going to show you how to do it. All right. So we're going to hop back into this lesson. So the thing that's really great about this, this particular like song, it's, it's a loop. So it's the same. It's not going to change. But it does a lot of things, and so instead of you just playing chords, like it's forcing you to play riffs and different kind of pickups in between because that's how the song goes, which is great, and it's a guitar-heavy song, so it's really cool. So they have a filter on the guitar, so it sounds funny, whatever. But this kind of stuff is really great because it's going to work on your dexterity. It's going to allow you to focus and really channel what you're doing on the chords. So let's just go back again. We're playing that B flat, F sharp minor seven. So you're doing that hammer on. G major seven. Now you hear the softness with this uh, E minor center is doing. That even when we get 
to that E. Do that pick, that pick up. Do that rip. And a lot of times what I like to do is I like to slide into my chords. I don't like to just... You could do that, but like a little texture and like just a little kind of warmth. I like to slide into my chords. And what I have to do sometimes when I'm first learning this concept is loop that part and just make sure I visualize where I'm going to land at, right? And it's a great video, a great song that's going to help you really do a lot of things in one particular practice regimen. And it's a loop. It's really going to help you unlock a lot of different things in one song. So it's a great song to practice too. The name of this song again is called Playing Games by 